I got high horses. <laughs> it was a good song. <laughs> I got <Yeah>. high horses. <laughs> You're stranded on a desert island. You're allowed one movie, one album, one item, one meal deal, one YouTuber companion. Oh, brilliant. I think it says a lot about us that I pick <laughs> smack and you pick piano. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for a full fat Red Bull. Oh, you're weird. Hey, you're with your going to be Bull. off your tits on this island. Exactly. Exactly what I'm going for. When I put my normal clothes on, I had that um, checkered shirt on, and some girl on the table opposite shouted, Oi, picnic boy. <laughs> 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 the only insult I got on a day was my own clothes. Charmer. Oh, no. You know, that when he just screams that, I'd wake up and be like, Yeah, I want to get some fucking coconuts today, boy. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to Jack Mate's Happy Hour. The happiest hour in all the week. I'm in all the week. <laughs> Does that make <laughs> There's a lot of hours in the week, but this is the only one in... where you're not clinically depressed. But I mean in all the week. Does that make sense? Because you're trying to say in all the land. Stevie's wearing something that can only be described as fucking dreadful. Mm. I did that? it for you guys. I feel like this was nice of me. I mean, Alfie's here, by the way. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> very, very placid, man. Uh, w me and Alfie were the ones who bought you that shirt. Yes. So, for anyone who can't see, it's SpongeBob, just a massive SpongeBob face. And a little bit of context is because it was your birthday a few weekends ago, and we, me and Alfie, were allowed to have free reign on which outfit you wear for the pub crawl, and. Um, we went into H&M, didn't we? Yeah. And just, well, to be fair, now I'm looking at you sat next to the mic covers. It's a nice yellow. It ties in nicely. <laughs> mm. I, I'd, I'd love to say that I was trying to be on brand. I wasn't. I just thought it looked fucking awful. Yeah. In, in the <laughs> middle of Norwich, bad. I don't think people looked at the yellow and thought, yeah, <laughs> lovely. No, it, it was the smart shoes that did it for me. <laughs> Go on and explain what he had on. So he had, he had the SpongeBob t-shirt. Matching SpongeBob socks, <laughs> which had a very similar expression to that. Uh, was it football shorts? Yes, yeah, swimming, swimming shorts. shorts. Swimming shorts. Uh, Quite and, small uh, ones as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then we and then we had smart shoes. Yeah. Um, desert boots. Some desert yeah. boots to go with. <laughs> what was the hat? It was like a. It was like a top hat. Like it a was, fedora. It was a classic Ollie <laughs> yeah, Murs hat. Yeah. No, it wasn't even that cool. It was a fedora. <laughs> it was like something that. Um, Jeff Bridges would wear in like Brilliant. hell or high water. Yeah, so I didn't look, <laughs> and then the big coat, which oh yeah, no, tied big, it all together, which yeah. can only be described as a flasher's coat. Yeah, so it, and then when if I had that like buttoned up with shorts on, you couldn't <laughs> yeah. see that I was wearing anything below. So <laughs> yeah, you did look like you was probably going to walk around and flash. People on Instagram appreciated it though, so thanks for that. Yeah, but they didn't have to be with you all day while you walked around wearing it. Yeah, it was actually more embarrassing for us. Yeah. To be honest. I, yeah, I'm cringing now. Mm. Though, yeah, no, not many people said anything, which I did find surprising. Don't you think it was funny? The only insult you got about your outfit was when you went home and changed. <laughs> when I put, and <laughs> <back>. <laughs> that was so harsh. When I put my normal clothes on, I had that um, checkered shirt on. And some girl on the table opposite shouted, Oi, picnic boy. <laughs> <laughs> the only insult I got on a day was my own clothes. I like how the day before that as well, we were all, us three were sat in spoons and we were like planning all these podcasts and we were like, we could do this, we could do this, we could yeah. do this. And we got here today and was like, well, we didn't plan any of them. So we are, we're actually going to do a, sh a, a, a parody today because if in doubt, copy someone else's show. Obviously during the lockdown, we parodied James A. Custer and Ed Gamble's Off Menu podcast. Today, we're going to parody probably an even more popular format, mm. um, Desert Island Discs, which for anyone who doesn't know, the format's pretty simple. You're, you're stranded on a desert island and you've got to say which disc you would take, impl implying an album. Mm -hmm. But we're going to switch it up and make it a bit more a bit more modern, a bit more for the kids, if I do say so. Oh, I shouldn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know a lot about what the kids want. Yeah. And uh, uh, kids and islands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Little St. Jack. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Dear me. <laughs> it's the second podcast since we've been back that I've been likened to, to Epstein. Epstein, yeah. So let me run you through the five talking points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? And he needs to run me through this because it wasn't until maybe four minutes before I got to the studio, knowing I'd been traveling all day, that he called me and said, oh, we're doing that idea. I was like, ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I had something else prepared, but... Do you know why I called you four minutes before you got here? Why? Because I decided to, do, decided to do this five minutes before you got here. Oh, at least you guys had five minutes to prepare then. No, I had one minute before informing you. 
Okay. That's how time works. <laughs> yeah, but I was walking. I wasn't going to plan it. Okay, so you're stuck on a desert island, and you're allowed one of these five things. So you're allowed... Usually on desert island desks, you'd be allowed a book, but I uh, don't think we I've, read. <laughs> I've never read a book in my life. You've never read I've a book never read a life. book. I think I've only read one book. What was it? Kenzuki's Kingdom. I had that read to me, if that counts. <laughs> no, it doesn't count. Year six, Mr. Heyman, what a legend. It's like somebody describing you a film and you going, I've seen the film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you haven't. Um, yeah, Kenzuki's Kingdom. Oh, and um, tell a lie. I also had to read, because there's a theme here with the books that I've read that you have to read. They're a lot on the right. curriculum. But I read Skellig. Never heard of that. I have no idea what it is. Before before my time, I think. Oh, there'll be there'll be like GCSE people up and down the curve. People just, <laughs> let me rephrase that. People that have done GCSEs. <laughs> I don't think they're called GCSE people. <laughs> there'll be there'll be students up and down the country that will be going like, Whoa, yeah, Kenzuki's Kingdom. And then you've got the other half that are like, Whoa, yeah, Skelly. Kenzuki's Kingdom was like year six for me. Oh, that's how long ago. Maybe oh yeah, maybe Skellig was like S- Yeah, it must have been because Sats. GCSE was like of mice and men. Or Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, we yeah. Of mice and men. I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't be asked with that. Nah. No. I guess they ended. No. no. You know when like half of the class will like read, not half of the class, but like the top set might read of mice and men, mm-hmm. and then the bottom set will be like the hungry caterpillar or some shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they'll have like a completely different book. And then when you get to the exams, one paper fits all sort of thing. So it'll mm. say like. If you read My Some Men, turn to page 33. Yeah. Like that, then you carry on. Have I ever told you? 33 what? pages on your exam. Well, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. Did, did I ever tell you what my friend Matty Jones did? No. So he, we used to piss about in English all the time, and he's not the brightest spark. I'm not sure why he was in my set, really. Because <laughs> you're not the brightest spark. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, and um, we had, we'd been watching, like, um, what's that Romeo and Juliet one? That's not Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Midsummer's Night Dream. What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Are you just going just because they're both Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did only do those two, so that's <laughs> good. Midsummer's Night Dream. What is that? Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have to read that, basically. And um, when we got in the exam, it said... If you if you're reading Midsummer Night Dream, whatever it is, go turn to page twelve. But Matty didn't read that bit, so he just started answering from question one, and it was all these questions about of mice and men, which he's never. And he was like, "I really fucked about in this class because I don't remember any of this." And he said that he got to the end of the thing, and then question twelve came up, and it was like, "Okay, question one for blah blah blah." And then he was like. This is my book, and then he turned to the front and realised that he'd been answering loads. Of- <laughs> did, did, I was like, "What? An- what were you writing down? What were you did, like?" Did he pass? No, he got an ungraded because they don't even look at his answers. They look at the answers he was supposed to have done and notice they're all blank. So oh he's like, got, "Yeah." So he got he got a U. Plus, how is he going to answer questions about a book he's never <laughs> yeah. read and passed? He might have been lucky. They always pick a book that has a film attached, so you really don't need to read the book. Do he they? Could have watched. The- well, every single one I've done has been a film. That's true. Of Mice and Men has a film. Romeo. And- Romeo and Juliet has a Is film. Is Mice and Men the one where it's like, I gotta shoot this dog? What? Yeah. It's Lenny and George. And he, George is quite a, no, Lenny's the big one, isn't Disabled he? Disabled guy. Yeah. And he's, he always p- kills the rabbits because he's quite heavy handed. Oh, and he's got a mouse. And then he accidentally kills the woman. This is a terrible, terrible synopsis. Of, of <laughs> I've read he's the book. Got, he's got a mouse. I don't want to kill this dog. He's no, he's very heavy handed. Um, and he accidentally kills a woman in this uh, place that they're finally. They, I think they're on the run at the beginning because he, um, he, he always messes up because he's not all there. Well, how does he accidentally kill a woman? Um, because he's, she strength. quite likes him and he's like stroking her hair, but then he starts being too rough because he doesn't know his own strength. Mm. What? He kills her by stroking I her hair? I think he snaps her neck. What? Yeah. What? For anyone who has it, if you're doing your GCSEs right now, do not answer your exams based on how <laughs> yeah. we're now describing this to you. And also, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone at home is going, I really, I can't wait to watch of Mice and Men. There was a guy in my class who used to write the ending on the first page for the new students next year. It's evil, isn't it? Oh, oh that, is, that is sadistic. Yeah. Gets out of the way though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind it of is a sad thing. ending as well. Won't do the mm. spoiler since... I've not been out very long. I'm just baffled that you snap a neck by pulling the hair. It's because he's he's hard. He's, he's, an, he's sounds, a big lad. He's sounds, like 6'3". Sounds like a bloody nutter. Jack's like 6'3". Right, as you can tell, we're binning off the books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we don't do this well. And, and, and we're going to be able to pick one um, movie 
basically, that you can watch on the island. I don't want any questions like what? So we've got a TV, we've got a DVD player, we've got a Blu-ray player, we can stream it. We've got streaming services. Have we got a Wi-Fi connection? No, we haven't. It's a made-up island. All right? Okay, so it's just... What's the climate like? It's a normal island, so some days you'll have proper hot days. There'll be coconuts on the trees. It'll be paradisical. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. You're allowed one movie. You're allowed one album that you can listen to on repeat as much as you want. Mm. You're allowed one item can be anything you want and for the sake of this say it's like oh the item is like um uh, a pair of football boots or a football right if the ball pops you get another one like okay. it's an unlimited amount of that okay. item nice. right can't but be a phone it, but it can't be a food or any or anything or yeah something that can like it can't be a a jet it can't be something to help you get off the island you're on okay. the island forever basically okay. you, and then to make this a bit more happy hour and a bit more us i'm gonna say you're allowed one more meal you're allowed one meal deal that can be replenished daily okay and you've got to think about it though because do you want something that you're gonna get sick of oh, true well that's the whole point of the whole thing about <laughs> all of them isn't it yeah, surely yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then to finish we're gonna finish on you're allowed one youtuber companion oh brilliant what are you going to get? Because there's a lot of debate. Me and Alfie are having a lot of debate on yeah. this one. Oh, so you have pre-planned and thought about it. That's good. Oh, yeah. We planned this weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, do you pick somebody that's going to have some riveting conversation? Or do you pick somebody of the opposite <laughs> of the opposite gender? They're YouTubers. Not many will have a riveting conversation. <laughs> well, I think I've got a really good pick. But okay. basically, I was stuck between do I have somebody that I could have a good conversation with? Or without sounding like a... Do you have somebody that you can sleep with? Because you're on the island forever. Obsessed, you're gonna... yeah. No, no, Obsessed. no. Sex no. addict. Okay, we'll, we'll just move on then. Album. What album? What, what do you want to be stuck on? We'll start with you, Music Man. Music Man says... Uh, see, mine, I've gone for purely like sanity and survival purposes. Okay. So what, I'm, for all, I'm all not there fi- for a giggle. What, for all five items? Yeah. Wow, so boring. I'm, I'm there to... Uh, boring? Yeah. Sensible. Okay. Resourceful. Okay. Right. Uh, so I've gone. I've gone for uh, like a, like now 2019. Why? Oh, so Variety. you get loads of different types of songs. Yeah. No, but the, yeah, but what kind of song? It's like chart shite. Imagine. Yeah, but imagine the same band over and over again. I know one you're gonna have. Mm. Uh, somebody you love. Somebody. Oh, you will have some Capaldi. Yeah. Somebody. In- so you got something for every mood. Yeah, that's all right. I'm trying to think of other ones. Oh, it's um, probably Maroon Five. I skip that. No, I don't. Think... Oh, yeah, that, that will be. Memories oh. will be. Oh, right. So you've got you've got Naz. I'm gonna take the no, to you the won't your to that. Roll. You're gonna. <laughs> so far, you've got one song you're gonna listen to then. <laughs> uh, Rag and Bone. Yeah. Uh, giant. Giant. I am. See, giant. that's when I'm like in that in one. the storms. Imagine that sort of. Motivating you to survive. That pick you up. I imagine if you're doing laps of the island to keep fit every day, listening to that would be good. Wake, uh, me, no, wake me up, Avicii. No, see, this is terrible. Now. That's well good. I'm not a fan. So wake me up. Why is that on 2019? Because he died. So he probably just. It's probably like a memorial, like a nice little nod to him. Do you know oh, what I mean? I see. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I thought I was about to say panic in a disco. I got excited for a second. Panic, panic room. Take me to the panic room. Uh, That's like I, that, I, that I really thing. regret this. Can I change it? <laughs> no, no, you can't. You, you should have researched this more, mate. Yeah. I, I was given you, five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I've had no research time, so... I, I Don't Give a Fuck by Dua Lipa. Don't know. All right, well, that's music done for me, then. I'll just listen to Rag and Bone, man. <laughs> for life. <laughs> is, is, is Lewis Capaldi's one on there, Fee? Oh, there we go. Panic at a Disco. Oh, that's a good song. Yeah. I got high horse... <laughs> it was a good song. <laughs> <laughs> I got <Yeah>. high horse... <laughs> 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 All right, there oh, you go. That's 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 your album locked in. <laughs> Enjoy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the whole album sung by Jack. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to go through and sing all these songs? I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. What's your album? Uh, I, I struggle with this. I wouldn't go anything that stupid. Right. Um, <laughs> okay. when, when I listen to music, I tend to like, I like to listen to the same album. When, a, when an album first comes out, I'll listen to it loads mm. and then I'll let it fizzle out. Mm. so it'd be in the moment that i'm in so right now i'm listening to reese lewis's album things right. i chose to remember hey, that doesn't make sense because you're going to be there forever exactly that's my issue with this question well, well i still what? prefer it more than now 19 <laughs> so <laughs> fair enough um would i go capaldi i do like the album 
But like mm. back when Ben Howard's first album, Every Kingdom, came out, I listened to that on repeat. But yeah. I, I, I'd still like the songs on it, but that, I don't think I'd listen to it on repeat that's now. That's a good shout. I was going to put Every Every Kingdom, but I wouldn't go for that the same reason that I wouldn't go for Lewis Capaldi's album. Because as much as I love it, it would be depressing. One mood. You're on an island yeah. and you're just... Somebody, you want some, you want something a little bit more upbeat. Yeah. So maybe some reggae. Chill out a bit. Yeah. I'm not taking yeah. advice from you. Yeah, no. <laughs> So now you're going 2018. For... <laughs> yeah. So you're going for Reese Lewis, are you? I think so, just because that's what I'm listening to all the time at the moment. I don't know who that is. Things I Chose to Remember. Bloody brilliant album. Um, it's nice. I thought, I thought Reese Lewis was a young Chelsea prospect. <laughs> but I think that's Reese James. <laughs> that is Reese James. Yeah. yeah. Reese James. There's no, also Reece a comedian. Lewis is good. Called Reece Reece James. Is good. Yeah. Yeah. Reese me... James from Mock the Week. Give me one song that he does that I'll know. I don't know if you will. You're such a hipster. No, it's just not. It's not your kind of music. Okay, I'd go for. Um, I'd go for something a bit cool. Yeah, I'd want to feel a bit like I'd wake up and go like, right, I'm on an island. I've got no one around yeah. me. But do you know what? I feel good. Okay, so I've gone for Kings of Leon because of the times. <laughs> hey, is that cool? Yeah, Caleb Followill's cool. Say some like grime thing like what, Jack does love Kings of Leon. Yeah. So I almost just called him Kings. Hey. Like I was cool, but so if you heard someone listening to Kings of Leon. Walking down the street, you hear them in their flat listening to Kings of Leon. You're like, oh, they're bloody cool. I don't mean to be like a hipster about this, right? Yeah. But I genuinely would feel like if they were listening to like Sex on Fire, mm. I'd be like, oh, nah, fuck off. <laughs> but, Mainstream. But if they were listening to like one of the old albums, which is what I've gone for, so Only by the Night was the mainstream album. Right. But Because of the Times was one before that, I think. And that's got some bangers on, like... Go on, sing us one. Sing us the main, the hits. Charmer. That's almost like a bit of a screen chat. Don't yeah. do that one, then. She's such a charmer. Oh, no. You know, that when he just screams that. I'd wake up and be like, yeah, I want to get some fucking coconuts today, boy. Do you know what I mean? That would get me in the mood. Yeah. No? No, I just... On call? Don't know it. Go on. I'm on call to be the one. On... I'll listen to it when I get yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one I've gone for is because of the times. Mainly just because I'd, I'd love to imagine that Caleb's there with me in spirit. One of the cool. Do you know? I watched a documentary about him, mm. and somebody said to him, "What is?" And this is a proper like laddie thing to enjoy, right? But I just oh, think, God. and I, 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 I just love him being like the ultimate rock star, right? Yeah. So somebody said to him, "I'm kind of laughing at this ironically, by the way." <laughs> okay. But someone went to him. How many women have you slept with? In, like, how many women have you slept with? Mm. And he went, God, I don't know, four. And I thought, oh wow, because he's like a Christian man, yeah. only four. And the guy went four, and he went, you seem surprised at that. And he went, yeah, no, I just thought because you're a. And then he goes, oh, sorry, you mean like, oh, what, in all together or in one night? <laughs> 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 I just thought, fair enough, that's pretty cool. And then I think his follow up question was. Um, have you ever done a cocaine off of a midget's head? And he just went, come on, who told you about that? <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's one of the coolest men Not ever. a good Christian, though. Not a good Christian, no. Orgies and cocaine. He did a song um, called Cold Desert, um, and one of the lines in it is, Jesus don't love me no more. And apparently that was improvised when he was fucked up, and the rest of the band, who are m highly religious, um, were fuming with him for like months and wouldn't speak wow. to him because just when he was in this like drunk state, he was like, Jesus, don't love me. And they were like, What the fuck are you doing? Like, and they kicked, kicked him out for a while. Oh, God. Yeah. So, probably they're from Norfolk, I think. Are they? Yeah. But not, 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 not Norwich <laughs> <laughs> in like Kentucky or something. I was going to say, that. I thought they were American. <laughs> People are going to be screaming because my geographical knowledge of America is atrocious. So. Norfolk and Kentucky. May have got that wrong. But yeah, anyway, that's my. Oh, Nashville. Nashville. There we go. <laughs> Nashville. <laughs> What's Tennessee? Oh, is it? <laughs> and he's the only ten I see. Oh, if you know what I mean. That's it is Tennessee, uh, isn't it? Let's go to meal dip. No, let's do movie. Yeah, movie. Okay, we'll start with you, SpongeBob. Yeah, well, the audio listeners forgot that we sat here <laughs> while he's dressed as fucking SpongeBob. Which, funnily enough, is the film I. I oh <laughs> God, the SpongeBob movie. What a film! <laughs> what is that? What was that called? The SpongeBob movie. Yeah, was it called the SpongeBob <laughs> movie? I think I that's mean, what SpongeBob the first one was called. The then there was SpongeBob um, Sponge Out of Water or something. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> They're not but very the inventive of the, the titles. The first <laughs> film is <laughs> out of water. <laughs> oh my god! And then, and then the first film had um, 
Sponge. <laughs> Sponge on the run. Sponge on the run. <laughs> and then the first film had the um, the song in it, Goofy Goober. Oh, that's a great I'm um, a Goofy Goober. <laughs> You're a Goofy, isn't that? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. Weird. Can I change my album to just that song? <laughs> SpongeBob has some brilliant songs. There's Campfire Song. Best right. day ever. We're going to dance F-U-N. all night. Yeah. What? F U N. Just saying. F is for fun. To um, do, uh, friends who do stuff now together. That we're men. U is for you. Now and that we're me. men. I don't know that one. Oh, okay. Sponge on the run. SpongeBob has some tunes. <laughs> what about if there was one where like he he was like an unruly teenager? Mm. What well, he was anyway, wasn't he? What? How old was the sponge? He's like sixty, isn't he? Sixty. Is yeah. Someone sh- saw it. Someone. It went like viral. Someone found a screen grab from one of the episodes of his um, license. His SpongeBob ID. SquarePants is 60 it, years old. It's a ridiculous age. How old is Mr. Krabs? 400. Oh, apparently he's 50 oh. in sponge years. Well, what a fuck are sponge years? I don't think they exist. No. <laughs> no, yeah, he should do one where he's like a teenager mm. and it's all about him trying to like leave the hive. Or not the hive. Right? The hive? <laughs> where the sponges live? No, like, he li- lives in a pineapple. I know right. where he's going with this. Li- li- leave the pineapple, but he can't, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's called sponging off mum and dad. <laughs> No. Weren't, weren't you on that show on BBC Three? <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you thought I was going? Yeah, I knew you were trying to find a. Oh. I don't. You're going title first. Oh, there you go. His driving it. license says he's born in 1986. Why has he got a driving license? What's he driving? <laughs> a what? Have you ever seen SpongeBob? <laughs> Does he drive? What? Well, he tries to. He fails quite badly. He drives at it. in the sea. He drives a in a car. The Al Carve. <laughs> I don't know. Let's well, stop the SpongeBob puns. What were we talking I, about? I, films? I think for terrible movies like SpongeBob, Sponge Out of Water, they think of the title first and they work backwards. Yeah, potentially. Like Alvin and the Chipmunks, the squeakquel. There was yeah. no reason for there to be a sequel, but they probably thought Squeak was quite decent. We'll have to make a whole other one now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> and then they did. Um, Shrek the Halls for Christmas. Oh God! There never needs That's to be a. Awful. There, there doesn't need to be a Christmas Shrek movie. No. But they made it happen. I reckon that I. I is there a B movie too? I don't think so. They always say that like Seinfeld always uh, teases at it on his Twitter, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah. Why? What? What would you call that? Um. What was the first one called? B movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. To be movie or not to be. Oh, God. oh my god! Right, what's your movie, Stevie? <laughs> <laughs> what's your movie? Um, yeah, I'll. Str- this is the one I said I'd struggle on. Um, it's a film you have to watch over and over again. Yeah. Would I pick something with songs in it? Would I go great as Showman? Oh God! What you that? you'd go the shitty film, wouldn't you, with songs? What? Oh, oh. No, you'd probably go Joker, wouldn't you? No, you. Um, oh, so you think I'm gonna go Star Is Born? That's what I had in my mind. At oh, least that, that. So you can sing. You you get the song. Then you get another song. You actually yeah. get another album. Yeah, you're not stuck with fucking Now 19. <laughs> 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 um, you just pick Fast and Furious. That has all them songs on it anyway. <laughs> I would probably go maybe for something like The Prestige. One What's of my favorite films of all time. Not I've, not seen, I've not seen that. Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale. They're like magicians who hate each other it's not actual magic they're illusionists who hate each other um and they're constantly trying to one up the other one is um, it but um, it's got a huge twist in it that you just couldn't there's no way you could ever figure it out would i like that yeah i think so because you love films with twists oh mm. i know what i'm gonna be settling down to later mm. yeah there is yeah. one thing you won't like about it but what someone flies there's something unrealistic in it but it's got oh. but other than that it's really just, good they explain that. everything though yeah, but that's like the one that Fiona loves with Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, now it? you see me. I, I, I couldn't stand that. No, I couldn't. There's no way you could flick a card like to each other that's, like that. Yeah, I haven't no, seen that yet. one. That's number two, Shit. isn't it? Yeah, bollocks. But yeah, The Prestige, give it a watch. Okay, so that's your that's your film. Yeah, I'll go for that. But once, surely once you know the twist, you know the twist, so it gets a bit boring. Yeah, but it's still a good film. That's like Gone Girl. You'd watch <laughs> yeah. it again, wouldn't you? It's like the hundredth time you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. How does he do that? <laughs> yeah, He's done that a hundred <laughs> times now. But that's any film you've seen, you know the film, so it's going to get boring. That's true. That's true. How often are you forced to watch this film? Or is it just that it's there on the occasion you fancy watching yeah, it? You when you get bored, which I mm. imagine will be quite frequent. Maybe I would go for The Greatest Showman then. All Just right. for extra music. I think that's a better choice, personally. Yeah, yeah like I'm going to go choice. with that then. Yeah. What would your film be? Well, obviously, I'm going sort of uh, very methodical, very logical. So I've gone. Well, you went for now, not too. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, from now on, um, I've I've gone for Castaway, and I would study it and 
try and uh, survive on the island using his techniques. Well, we did say that you know you can never get off the island. No, but foraging. He does something with a coconut, I believe. See, I can't remember, but if I had the had the You'd film, never forget. I'll go, What what do you do with that coconut again? I swear if he makes his item a volleyball. Oh, he might this have game done. is over. He might have done. And then his companion will be Tom <laughs> Hanks. Tom Hanks, <laughs> the well known YouTuber. <laughs> so you're going cast away. Yeah. Okay, I think it's quite good. Good film as well. But I don't know how much, like, I think there is actually a YouTube video uploaded by Vanity Fair that's mm. like, um, it's like survivalist um, rates survival scenes in movies. Oh, and crap. He'll... Was Castaway's bad, was it? I imagine it probably was. Oh, God. Because he, he get, doesn't he build a raft or something? And then he, yeah, he builds a raft, doesn't he? And then he gets found by a boat at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen, um, me and Fee were watching a film the other day that's a, they have to build a raft and they have to get saved that kind of way. And it just makes me think, like, I don't know if that's possible. Like, if you gave me 10 years on an island with only the supplies that were on the island and said, build a raft out of this, I still don't think I'd just be able to... After muster... 10 years? Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to muster one up. Where am I starting? What am I doing? Well, it's... You're just trying to make, essentially... You know what a boat looks like, the shape of it. A raft is even easier because it's just a flat wooden board that has no holes mm. to let water through. So you're just looking for the type of item that you could weave. Right. So, do you, all right, how about this? If we were all stranded on a desert island, mm -hmm. who would make the best raft in 10 years? I'd feel fairly comfortable I after that amount of time. I think Stevie. Do you? Yeah. I was awful at woodwork at school. Was you? Yeah. I think it would take me about six years. Cool, and that's yeah. good. Yeah, I'd need a, see. I'd need at least twelve, so I'd be fucked. Oh. Yeah, I'd get about ten years in and go. Oh, time's up. Oh. Ten <laughs> years is a long time, though. Ten years dedicating to one thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably give it to Alfie though, because he's gonna have Castaway, so he'll know how to make exactly. One. Yeah, exactly. My film for anyone that cares would be the first Hangover movie. Hmm. Uh, yeah, explain. I think it's got a lot of rewatch value. I think it's it's it also acts as a comedy, so I'd be laughing at it at least for the first fifty times. Yeah, I'd watch it once every six months. I think I recently watched the trilogy again after like three years of not seeing any of them, mm -hmm. and I think they're all good. They're yeah. all just funny movies. Like the first one, it actually is because it was an original storyline. Is actually obviously the goat of those. Yeah, but I think I wouldn't ever get bored of it. I think Alan's a great character. I think. What joke do you think you'd get bored of first? Um, I mean, like any film, you've got the bits that are a little bit boring. There's yeah. the there's the classic, paging Dark the faggot. That's yeah, quite early on. That's a bit dull as a joke. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm not picking it for one joke. Like, no, I'm not no, like, no oh, but you're saying you'd laugh forward. a lot when he <laughs> makes the baby do stuff. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying you said you'd laugh at it for the first fifty times. That seems excessive. Well, I laughed just as I, I laughed pretty much. The same amount as I did the first time I saw it when I saw it the other day. Like the yeah, Mike but, Tyson bit, I think is brilliant. But that was after three years of not watching it. How often are you watching it on this island? Every once every six, six months. months. Yeah. Oh, okay. I suppose that's doable. I, th I think it's a good shout. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like it'll take you away for a while from yeah. your worries. Do you know? Yeah, it's a very escapist mm. kind of film. Do you remember? Um, no, you don't because I've not told you this yet. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike Tyson said in one of his podcasts that he was so fucked up for that period of his life that he doesn't remember <laughs> filming The Hangover. Mad. Perfect and, for that film. And when, yeah. you when you watch it back, he is terrible. Is he? It? He's like, uh, you doing it? You doing so, hell, man? He's like proper. Yeah. If he doesn't remember doing any of that, him yeah. watching that back is essentially the same as the end scene in Hangover where they look back at all the photos. Yeah. So his actual life is Hangover. Yeah. Wow. Or do you imagine, do you think he watches it back and think, this character's sick. Like, <laughs> he doesn't even realise <laughs> yeah. it's him. <laughs> Let's do items. I'll keep this one off. Go on. I'm going to pick heroin. <laughs> <laughs> if I was on a uh, desert island and my item replenished every day, I would want some smack. It, think about it, right? Think about it. I know I've never done heroin, right? And I do not endorse it. It ruins <laughs> lives, right? I've heard. <laughs> it's ruined my life. I'm on it now. <laughs> but it's, a t it's, it's probably the most famous time killer you can get. I imagine you inject that, you're gone for three days. Like, 
you're in you you almost feel like you're in a different state like mm-hmm. so it's like an, it's proper escapism like think about people that traditionally get addicted to heroin right they're not in a very good position in life yeah mm-hmm. often homeless often down and out not much yeah. going for them or perhaps got too much going for them where they've done everything and they need to do something else yeah. well i imagine when you think of going to an island we have the means to get off the island we're like oh it'd be quite nice it'd be like a paradise we're not in a we're not in a great situation here. This is our shit situation. Give me some smack. Mainline that. I'll see you in a week. Wake up. Oh, I've got mm. six more days here. You don't you don't tend to have very good health <laughs> with that. No, but I'm I'm gonna just be living off meal deals and seawater. Okay. So no, don't drink seawater. Yeah, That's could rule number ju- one. Mate. You could you could choose a good drink in your meal deal. Um, you can filter out the salt, can't you? I mean, if I'm not, you can't even make a raft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it can't be that hard. Leave us some, leave some, leave some. Oh no, yeah. I was going to say leave a pot of seawater, and I was thinking that you could just let the salt evaporate, but it would evaporate the <laughs> water, <laughs> leaving the salt. But then you pull the salt out and put the water back in. What? <laughs> what? How are you separating no, no salt logic. and water? It's a very bizarre thing to say. I don't know, but. He's got 10 years to figure it out. I you need to watch, watch The Prestige to find out how they do <laughs> you that. You need to watch Castaway, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not up for a bit of smack? Um, Wouldn't have been my first choice. No, I do understand why you've chosen smack. Um, Definitely. Like, I think if I got terminally ill and I was like 60, I'd be like, go out and fetch me a bit of smack. Me, to me? Anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where am I going to get some smack? Look I think me. it's easy to get smack. Is it? Yeah, you probably just go outside and go, smack, and someone just comes and gives you some. Maybe where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> you're not from you're, from, you're from the same area. About three roads away, though. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't live near your mum. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just want to say on record, my mum is not a smack head. It's other drugs. <laughs> uh, what about other drugs then? Surely other drugs. Mushrooms could yeah. be good. Mushrooms yeah, make- would be good, but I think they'd make you trip out. You'd start thinking you see Yeah, that'd bear. be creepy. And imagine if you did mushrooms, like anything hallucinogenic. Imagine if you did it and you thought you'd saw an out. Oh, there's a boat. And then you wake up. Oh, fuck me. It's the mushroom again. You'd be fuming. Yeah, I guess you would be fuming. And you wouldn't want any party drugs. You no, wouldn't no, be so no. dull. Yeah. Watching a bit of <laughs> Greatest Showman on MD. <laughs> is that what they do on <laughs> listening, to a, listening to a bit of now too fast this is the greatest <laughs> show yeah <laughs> do you know what MD, MDMA is I'm pretty you know. sure you don't do, do MDMA you, you, turn, you turn into like any nan <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh. Are, yeah that's me though yeah <laughs> no or just like doing like I don't know doing cocaine just chatting like loads to yourself to a coconut I swear, no, because like you've got your YouTuber guest. Oh, you oh, have. Fuck, yeah. Right. Are they doing the drugs with you? Well, if it was one of the Paul brothers, then yeah, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> or if it was Rotashaw, maybe get allegedly. Maybe, maybe pick Rotashaw allegedly because he might allegedly bring some items with him allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, Stevie, what would yours be? Item. Um, I'd want something to entertain me. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'd. T- oh, it's kind of sad, but I'd probably have like a piano. Yeah, more music. I just need music. Elton John over here, <laughs> great, great a showman. Playing yeah, along exactly. Piano. <laughs> Fucking hell. I could, cool. yeah, but you know, like, just I think music's probably the one thing that I could never get bored of. Mm. So I've only got one album, which I will bound, bound, I'm bound to get bored of. Mm. The film I'm bound to get bored of. But if I've got a piano, I can just start right. yeah. writing songs or just figuring out other songs. That's yeah. true. That's very true. I'll have an unlimited amount of music as long as my skill allows it. It's a very good idea. That's that. a good shout. That is a good show. I, I I think you thought we were going to rinse you more than that, but no, it's a good show. Mm. Thanks. Grand piano. Alf? Mine seems very silly now compared to piano and smack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I want to I want to master a skill. Use Ooh. this time to master a skill. If it's a yo-yo. Uh, no, it's not. So so I went for a magic set, <laughs> like a pack of cards and that, so I could get amazing at magic. But then... You can't show anyone. I You've got show, your YouTuber yeah, guest. I can show my YouTuber uh, guest. But then I think the whole thrill of magic is tricking people, isn't it? Yeah. And by the hundredth time, they're gonna—I'll be like, "Do you want to see some magic?" I'm like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> yeah. I've... I'm watching Greatest Showman. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon they would have s- probably worked out how you do it after the but, hundredth time. But it would be—I just think it, it would be—it would amaze myself. Imagine if you got so good 
yeah. that you could do it to yourself. But I don't think any magician gets so good that they <laughs> that the, the, the magic is like a trick to that. David How Blaine. have I done that? David Blaine. How the f- I'm levitating. <laughs> <laughs> Just start swallowing cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's our movies. That's our album. And that's our items. I think it says a lot about us that I pick <laughs> smack and you pick piano. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Ideal meal deal. What yeah. would you pick? What's we'll start with you? We'll start with you, Alfie. Right. So I have the dilemma here. Yeah. Because you're having this every day. Yeah. I'm a vegetarian now. Would you care anymore? Yeah. I, and I was saying that's because if I'm on the island, right, and I see like a little turkey. Right. Killing it. Eating it. Is there going to be turkey? Do you get turkeys on islands? I don't know why I thought turkey. It's not I Christmas don't... island. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. A warthog. Yeah. I'm I'm catching it, I'm killing it, and I'm eating it. Again, I'm not sure what kind of animals you find on islands. But um, I get the sentiment. Do you, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um so fish. Yep, yeah, spear some fish. Yeah. 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 Yep. So I think I think I might go for a meaty like sandwich. Something Ooh. maybe with loads of different meats. Cause I haven't I've not had this for ages and it would kind of be a bit like a bit like, oh fuck you old life yeah I'm starting a new life there's a, there's a yeah. really good yeah. idea with having one with loads of meats as well yeah one day when you're bored of that loads of meat sandwich take a few of them out then you've just got a ham sandwich yeah, such a good yeah. Idea. so like maybe a triple with three different things <sighs> oh yeah. yeah yeah what what like an all-day breakfast triple i've never had any of them oh so all day not, breakfast i've never good. had any of them so yeah wow well what, what would you recommend all day breakfast i've actually gone for that okay and i will admit it's not the nicest one out there but I've gone for the same pr- premise. Yeah. I went for the all-day breakfast because that's one of the only ones they do as a triple as well. Okay. So that's sausage, bacon, and egg mayo. Yeah. And then ketchup. And ketchup. It does yeah. sound a bit disgusting. No, it is good. Yeah. It Surprisingly. Is, it is. It, I mean, yeah. it's not good. I don't like cold egg. I know. So like, on the way here today, I stopped at Starbucks. I got an all-day breakfast um, wrap bap. Mm. And they heat it up, and that's fine. But mm. egg, when it's cold, I think egg shouldn't be cold. I'm not a fan of cold egg. No, no, it's weird. It's like jelly. Yeah, maybe weird. you could like toast it on a rock on a you sunny day. You could. I also imagine that you'd probably just get used to it. Yeah, that's why I. I, I think cold egg's the least of your worries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like egg end. mayo. Do you? Well, it's just mayonnaise, really, isn't it? Yeah. But with egg in it. Well, yes, clues in the title for that. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. what it is, though? Yeah, it's literally just. Hard boiled egg, yeah. broken down into small pieces, mm. right, and then mayonnaise. Oh, my st- that's might literally taste it. On smack. What a cold egg might might taste better on smack. <laughs> I mean, anyone would taste better on smack yeah. unless you don't get an appetite. Yeah, because right, so a lot of heroin addicts are skinny. Are they? But that might just Allegedly. because they're spe- <laughs> that might just be because they're spending their money on smack and not food. Yeah, and they lose three days at a time, so they are eating a big meal. Then they don't eat for three. So, so you'd yeah. wake up to six. Triples. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Six, oh, you're buzzing. Six triples. That's 18 halves of sandwiches. Yeah. That's like a buffet. All right. That I'll is... go for that then. Yeah. yeah. I'll go for that. Throw away my piano. Yeah. Put a needle in my arm. On yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I reckon I'll go for that. Would you go the same? Um, yeah. I think, well, I think so. What about if we reverse it and we become the veggies? Cheese triple. I'm uh, not a big cheese fan. No, I'm not a big cheese fan. <laughs> And went, yeah, no, I'm not a big cheese. <laughs> um, kid says he doesn't like cheese. I'm going to copy him. I'd then go egg mayo, probably. Would you? Nah, but, egg and cress. But then look, you'd, you'd go all day, because then you could take all day breakfast, because then you'd take the sausage and bacon out. And you could yeah. still have an egg mayo anyway. And then i get the ketchup. Yeah, I think we're collectively on that. We're collectively yeah, together on that it. one. What about snacks? Um, Couldn't be chocolate for me. Not on a hot island. Chocolate, if it's even remotely melted, makes me feel sick. Leave it in the yeah. sea. <laughs> cool it down. Wet chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in that or, case. or get a caramel one. Put it in the sea. Oh, all of a sudden, salted caramel. Hello. It's got it's got the salt out of the water again. That's well yeah. good. Um, would I go crisps? I'm I'm not even gonna bring popcorn into the discussion. Yeah. Um, a series three shit. That. <laughs> would you go McCoys? No. I'm yeah, go- I think I'd struggle with crisps. I'm going red hot monster munch all oh, yeah, day. Oh yeah, I, I just don't think that would be nice on a on a in, a, in the heat. Would it? Wouldn't it not? After a breakfast triple, you... apparently people say that you hot drinks do cool you down in hot. Well, it's because your body's trying to fight it. So yeah. you put something right. hot in, and your body wants to cool itself oh, I down. Go for it then. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, It'll I be would a bit go of for a thrill it. For the It'd day. be like a party on my tongue once a day. Yeah. 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 And it, my YouTube companion would see that and think he's he's 
he's handling that red hot monster match pretty well. Yeah. I will think twice before killing him. Yeah. Wait for him <laughs> to be in one of his smack comas. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah. And I imagine Red Hot Monster Munch probably wakes you up a bit. Like, you know, if you do a bit too much smack. You know? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but like in um, Pulp Fiction, she has to be shot with the adrenaline, pump in the heart. Poof, she comes back alive. I reckon eating a couple of Red Hot Monster Munch. Mm. <sighs> it's the same. Yeah. Same, yeah. P- p- Kickstarts your heart back into action. Yeah. I reckon. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd have to go for something with a bit of flavour at least. Mm. Imagine going for a really bland crisp on an island. Yeah. Fiona would go for re- salted hula hoops. Oh no! Yeah, I know. Why are you marrying her? I know. There's no such thing as the perfect woman. I say that's a big (laughs) flaw, though. That that is a big flaw. Yeah. Um, she's now writing. Yet here I am. (laughs) 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 Yeah. What? Go on, then, Steve. Um, I like um crinkly mini cheddars. Mm. Yeah, but they're little. The cheese and onion ones. That's the issue. You can get a big one. You can get a quid one. (sighs) What in the meal deal? Depends no, if you, you go can't. to a good enough shop. Yeah, you can't. They are little packs, but what is? Are you only having one meal deal a day yeah, for the rest of your life? They that's replenish all every... the food you get. Yeah, that's why I'm picking a triple sandwich and a big bag of Red Hot Monster Munch. You yeah. arguably get more crisps in a big bag of Red Hot Monster Munch than you do any other bag. So yeah. you need something to fill you up in that case. I yeah. didn't even think of that. What are you having, Alfie? Uh, I'm again. I'm gonna have to go very logical here, and I'm gonna have to get some fruit because of the scurvy. Have you seen The Martian? Is that The Martian where he gets scurvy? Or scurvy? I think that's the thing. Isn't that the thing you get when you don't have enough vitamins? That's He's on Mars, isn't he? Yeah. Well, oh, so know. you're saying I could get fruit off the island? Yeah. Well, no. you need to specify well, no. You can't island. only have a meal deal every yeah, day. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. But we did say before this that um, it's enough to sustain you, no matter what you have. Oh, so I'm not going to get, like... No, it gives you... It gives, gives you, you all the nutrients you need. Yeah. Okay, in that case... Pirates got Ch- scurvy. I'd go chalky. You going for chalky? Yeah. What one? Um, can you get what could I get that's got variety? You can't get Revels, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a b- bag of Revels. Yeah, yeah. What's the best Revel? <sighs> Malteser. Um, do you think? <laughs> yeah. I like. Is there's an orange one? Chocolate orange one? Yeah, that's I like, orange I like a minstrel. Coffee. Orange. Oh, they're the two worst lovely. ones. Yeah, I, I like get a bag of Revels today. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love the coffee ones. Yeah, and your snack, please. I'm, I'm going to go crinkly cheese and onion, crinkly mini cheddars. Okay, mm. there we go. A nice variety around the table there. Um, yeah. We went savory, you went sweet. Does it yeah. say a lot about? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, well, 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 see me. <laughs> what drink? Water. <laughs> so easy for me. I'd get water in a meal deal now. Would Nothing you? else. I get the idea of wanting a different taste, but you just need water. Mm. Yeah. I couldn't go a day without water. That is the best shout, but I'm not going to pick it. Obviously. I'm not either. What are you going for? Coke, but the normal Coke. So I always get diet now because I feel guilty, but I'd be like, I'm on the fucking island. I'm going to have full fat Coke. Yeah. For a man who yeah. said he was going to be logical in all of his decisions, you didn't go for the yeah, worst drink. Yeah, but I've drink. got castaway. I know how to make water out of seawater. Oh, I thought we weren't not can, allowed to get fruit or anything. Can, can so... you actually do that? Can you actually make drinking water out of the sea? Yeah, you must be able to. There's got to be some purifier or something that exists. We should have really made that our item. Yeah, <laughs> Water purifier. Yeah. yeah, you'd have been sorted. But if you're yeah. not allowed to get fruit off the island, why are you allowed to get? Yeah, true. Fruit is a great shout, actually. Uh, but yeah, for drink, I'd I'd want to go water, but just to mix it up, I'm gonna go for a full fat Red Bull. Oh, you're weird. Mate, you're with gonna your be Red off Bull. your tits on this island. Exactly, exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for a bit of smack. Wake up with a Red Bull, Red Hot Monster Munch. All oh, flavour sensation. Yeah. Like it's I'm very gonna... James A. Caster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna want to be off my tits. Okay. Yeah? So, yeah, see, we're very different people then. I'm not going to want to just be sober on the island. The whole, oh, 300. You might find yourself. Day 369. I've, I found myself years ago and he was a cunt. Was he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to be off my nut. Brilliant. You're stranded on a desert island. The only person to live out each day and each night on this miserable, solitary p- place yeah. is a YouTuber companion. Mm-hmm. Who are you bloody picking? Are they allowed an item, or they, is it just them? Just, just them. them. Just them. They get one of every item you have. So two pianos just playing away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need someone who can play piano then. But bear in mind, they have to be a traditional YouTuber. You can't say Will Smith because he was in YouTube Rewind. Oh, I wouldn't say that. No. I, well, I mean, I I wouldn't mind having Will Smith there. Yeah, but that options. wasn't the first one. Yeah. Can, can one of you start so I can have a, have a gander at what the kind of options are here? Alfie. I've gone for... Josh Berry, the impressionist. What? Yeah. Oh, what? So you can feel like you're living with more than one person? Because I'd be like, be James Acaster today, mate. 
He's James Acaster. I get to spend a day with James Acaster. Be Boris Johnson today, mate. Well, yeah. not him. I just don't know any. H- how many days into being on this island does he murder you? <laughs> and, and how many days until that gets really annoying? No, because I'll be like, you be Josh three days of the week, right? Yeah. The other like four, maybe he's different characters. And I wake up and he goes, oh, good morning. These, but do you want these bananas? That was meant to be James Acast. And I'll be like, oh, he's doing James today. <laughs> oh do, you want, do you want these bananas? <laughs> that was quite good. No, I was doing the terrible impression of your terrible oh, impression. Oh, right. That was good, though. <laughs> yeah, that was it was good. good as yours, yeah. And you can do James Acaster. Nah. Go on, try. Oh, I can't. Uh, try. What, what was I doing? I didn't that? say all thinking... of the bananas are free. Oh, that's really good. That, that was good. quite good. Not too yeah. bad. I've been working on it. Ah. Yeah. Go on, Stevie. <laughs> I can't think of anything that he says it's, now. I didn't think all of what, the What does he always thing? say? He goes, which banana do you want to monge? No, I know he says that. He always says something. Oh, oh. fair play. Fair play. Oh, that's fair, play. That yeah. fair play. Fair play. <laughs> fair play. <laughs> We've just gone on to James A. Carter <laughs> impressions. Yeah. Right, so you'd have Josh Berry yeah. for the fact that he's an impressionist. Great impressionist. I do really, really like him. Would get annoying. Not Josh. Josh would be fine. I'd have Josh as Josh. But if I'm waking up, he's going... No, why are you doing I'd Boris go, again? Yeah, but I'd say that I'd go, please, mate, just like not Boris today. Yeah. And they'd go, what do you want, do you want James? And I'd go, no, <laughs> just be yourself, mate. <laughs> so you're picking an impressionist, but you're letting them just be <laughs> themselves. Yeah, but then I'd... <laughs> That's like picking a footballer, but going, I'm, oh, you're not playing football on this island. All, all right, right, who have you picked then? I've picked a really good one, I think. Go on. But I know you're going to slate it because I just slated yours. No, not true. I've picked Casey Neistat. What's your reason? Right, because I think he will have some massively interesting stories. I think he could speak to me for about three years before I'd get bored, right? And he's an adventurer. He's known to invent things all the time. Imagine the kind of shit he could come up with on an island. Like, he'd be making drones out of, like, palm leaves and stuff. Like, he would he would mm. keep it fun. He would keep it fun. I, I don't know if he'd be fun. There's a part of me that is thinking we should definitely have gone for a female. No, see, I see. I think, but are you thinking in terms of you might want to populate the island one day? Yeah. So you. Yeah, but I'd rather enjoy my company. You what? can't be a dad. I'd rather enjoy you. You're going to be on smack. <laughs> Stevie, you can you can pick a woman and still enjoy their company. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Can we please just fucking cancel Stevie already, please? Uh, yeah, you could pick. You could pick like. Doesn't have to be like oh a female proper fit female. Why don't you pick one who's who might actually go for me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, someone wholesome and interesting and yeah, funny and 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 able to birth. Yeah. Um. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I not just go with you? Yeah. That surely that would be my obvious choice. That's someone good. that I can actually get no. on with. Yeah. Yeah, but he's gonna be on drugs. No, because if he's on, he, I'm taking him to mine, so he doesn't get his items. You would hate it on Stevie's Island. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Greatest showman, him yeah. playing the piano, singing along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. No, we could write loads of comedy songs. You love that. Uh, yeah, but I only like them when we post them online and get the revenue. I don't like actually doing the work. Uh. <laughs> oh. uh, who could I take that's not you? Oh, Anyone. No, no, you've said it now. I'm there. Oh, great. I'm there. I'm putting my foot down. You're taking me to the fucking boring <laughs> island for eternity. Great, and he's going to be like you. that on the island. <laughs> that will show you. No, fucking turn that shit off. We could actually get like four. A pa- imagine this we get a palm tree, right? And we sh- 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 slit it down the middle. Right, um, and then we slit it again down the middle, and then we peel it off into four bits, and we make our own podcast. This could be a pun. <laughs> uh, this could be a pun <laughs> with a coconut. Welcome back to Jack, well, and, Jack and Stevie's um, terrible piano island. Yeah, and if we've got Josh today, we've got James Acaster on the podcast. You're not on our island. Why not? I think you've you... yeah, you've got your own island. You're with Josh Berry and Jack and I are together. You, you picked Josh. You were well within your right to pick me. That was a, that was a plausible yeah, option. Kind of mental that you didn't pick him. Yeah, quite harsh if anything. Yeah. Yeah, Sat right in front of you. Yeah. Still pick Josh Berry, who you've never met. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then again, I pick Casey Neistat. Yeah. So, awkward. It Looks like it? I'm the only nice one here, then. Yeah, not nice to me, though, because if you do ever get stranded on Desert Island and somehow you get a wish, don't pick me. <laughs> I've, got all, I've got other stuff to go. I'll carry the show yeah, going forward. imagine that. Imagine Josh Berry. I've never met him. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? And I'll be <laughs> going, do Boris. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fuming, wouldn't he? Yeah. Anyone would be. Anyone you'd suddenly... If they just appear on your own, why the fuck am I here? No one's going to be Casey happy about that. Casey you. <laughs> 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 Oi, Casey, Casey, make a drone out of pineapple. <laughs> yeah. What are you on about? 
<laughs> how can I do that? Uh, but I reckon he would be able to filter the water quite well. Yeah, I'm sure he'd figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's our desert island. Um, I think some good picks there. Yeah. Good. We definitely went wrong not picking a female. No, I disagree. Yeah, you're so adamant on that. Yeah. Because you would, it's okay to be alone, Jack. You would want to repopulate the island. Make it Would little, you? Yeah, make what? it little St. Jack. Oh, more, brilliant. What? Let, let them whole... little kids sit on this island for the rest of their lives. That's what, yeah. The UK was probably like a, just a land once, and then it, people came and they populated it, and then we invented things what and learned things. Eat? Fucking triple brec- <laughs> all day breakfast. Did, what, so if a baby's born, do they automatically get the things that you asked for as well? Yeah. So great. All your babies are on smack. <laughs> Only when they're old enough. <laughs> <laughs> your I... island's going to be like Thetford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We'll leave it there. <laughs> this has been Jack Makes Happy Hour. I've been joined by Stevie White, as always. Oh, uh, yeah. And Alfie Indra, as yeah. sometimes. And <laughs> <laughs> this has been our Desert Island Discs. Do get in touch at Jack's Happy Hour on Twitter. And let us know what you would pick. You're allowed one item, one movie, one album, one YouTuber companion, and one meal deal. Let us know in 280 characters or less. Yeah. See you later, SpongeBob. I, I wish I could do an do impression it, of Do it. Do it. Try. <laughs> Please. I can't do impressions of anyone or anything. Good. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>